Hey, what is up, investors? It's Jason Harrison. Today, we're going to be talking about Cardano. Now, the Basel Hard Fork has been delayed, as you guys know, and uh, we're still seeing the price of ADA actually on the move right now. We actually got some good things to look at on the technicals uh, to get to here, and also some news with the Basel Hard Fork itself. So, uh, if you don't mind, as we get to it, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash, destroy, annihilate, or gently press that like button. Help me out with the algorithm. Help spread the content to more people that might find it interesting, and subscribe if you have not already. And also be sure to push that bell notification because uh, that also helps you keep updated when there is a new video that is being released. Now let's get to it. So looking at the graph here, looking at what's been going on with Cardano, uh, it took us six attempts to actually break out of this falling wedge. Now we were in this falling wedge from the beginning of the second quarter like I said many times, so the start of April, we saw the price of Cardano drop quite significantly, just uh, come crashing down. Now, after it was under the price of 50 cents, we had seen it do multiple bounces off at the price under 50 cents. So we saw one, two, three, four, five, six times. And uh, after, after the sixth time, it had broken through this wedge and the price had gone up. Then it, it went to test that 50 cent price, which would take it above that 50 day moving average, which you can see the yellow line here, the 50 day moving average was a, a price that the, that, that Cardano was struggling with to try to get over that 50 day moving average. Then what did we have just uh, recently? We were able to actually get above that 50 day moving average and actually find support, which is what we just recently did. So two days in a row. Now we've been above that 50 day moving average. So when we look at this seventh bounce here, where we had seen the price of Cardano get in this quite big pattern here as the the crypto market was really trying to figure out what it was doing as far as the interest rates were going to go. And then after we got that announcement about the interest rates being uh, 75 basis points, and then that's when we saw the whole crypto market really take a shift there. So uh, now the price of ADA is above that 50 day moving average. It's also above that price of 50 cents. And this is very key. This is a very important price for A to the B now. So now we're really got to work up to that 100 day moving average, which is going to take us up to about 60 cents. So that 60 cent price is one that we're going to have a bit of struggle with trying to get over, but that's a very key price. That's the very key price that we need to really start uh, trying to attempt to get over that from now. Now, another thing going on at the moment too, is we have that 20 day moving average getting ready to pass that 50 day moving average, which that crossover there that's another good bullish move for ADA to go into. And that's also telling us, you know, more so about the possibility that we've already hit that bottom and now we're on that uptrend. Cross our fingers if, if that is the case. But uh, that's what it's looking like right now at the moment that we already did hit that bottom back in May. Now we're on that uptrend right now, moving upwards and consolidating more at this moment leading up to that 100 day moving average far different than where we were back in may and june where we didn't really know what was going on with the price we weren't able to to move above that 50 day moving average we weren't able to really hold above that 20 day moving average and now we actually have those lines crossing right now that that 20 day getting ready to cross that 50 day moving average so all good stuff going on right now now as far as the base of hard fork Charles Hoskinson just recently made this tweet here saying, sometimes you just have to let people build beautiful things regardless of how long it takes. And he's referencing obviously the Basel hard fork here, but he's shown himself at these beautiful monuments that mankind has spent many hours building, many days building, years building. And obviously to build something in perfection, it, it's going to take time. It, unless you want to put out a subpar product that people are going to talk badly about, they're going to... Um, they're, they're going to criticize your architecture. That's what he's getting at there. He's talking about the design of everything with the Basel hard fork. It has to be running as he, basically everybody is expecting it to. You don't want a situation that is going to be like the whole Terra Luna situation. They want something that's going to be perfect, that is going to run perfectly as, as expected, and everybody can ooh and all over it, basically. Rome was not built in a day. That is, uh, that is the way that Cardano works there. Now, on Thursday, July 28th, Kevin Hammond, the technology manager at Input Output Global, which is the company that is responsible for Cardano's research and development, explained why the Basel hard fork is being delayed. 
Now, he explained this to Tim Harrison on Cardano's 360 monthly show. He says that they're still finding some bugs and have been fixing them and releasing them on the test net. Now, he also said that what we're doing is we're focusing on testing thoroughly, getting it right, and not rushing. And the community support in helping us do so, that has been absolutely brilliant. We've been working very closely with many leading community members to get this absolutely right. Now, the Cardano community is really a strong community. When you think about the fact that the Basel hard fork has been delayed for the second time, and we're not seeing the price go down, we're actually seeing the price of ADA going up. And not only that, when we look over at Defy Llama and we look at the total value locked, we can see how strong this community really is because they're holding strong. Currently, the TVL is 317 million ADA tokens right now. Now, of course, the TVL in comparison to USD has come down because, well, the whole crypto market crashed and everything went down with it. But looking at this perspective, looking at it, the TVL, as far as the tokens go, you know, seeing the fact that it's still holding strong, that's that whole thing there with the community. That's the whole thing with the Cardano community. That's how strong it is right there. And when we look at how much the Cardano ecosystem is expanding, then when you think about that total value locks, and we look at everything that's out or coming out or in the works, then you can only imagine what is going to happen to that TBL as the Basel hard fork comes out and then all these different dApps come out and the whole ecosystem just expands in so many directions. So it would be something that takes a week, two weeks, a month, who knows how long it's going to take because what they're going for is perfection. They're going for something that is going to run up to the expectations that they have said it's going to. So uh, anyways, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about the Basel Hard Fork. Do you guys think that uh, this will be something that we would expect to come out in August? Or do you think that we might be seeing this come out something more closely to align with possibly what Ethereum has coming out with their merge? Uh, I'd like to know. So with that being said, please like, share, comment, subscribe, new content coming out all the time. Now, for the people that are new watching this, I do like to do technical analysis as well as provide some information with it. So if you like this type of content, please do consider subscribing. All right, well, I'll see you guys all in the next one.